trespassing big ships. We're passing, what is this, Amelia Island? We're passing the, I think, Amelia Island, Fernandina Beach area. And we're almost in Georgia. So I'm answering a bunch of YouTube comments right now and just laughing at all the ones where people think we have our dad's credit cards and we have a trust fund and everything. So my answer to that is we're, <laughs> our boat's from 1973. It's the original engine, we just had a huge transmission breakdown. If I had dad's credit card, I'd buy a newer boat. And we try to do all the work ourselves. So like all the work we can do, we do. And transmission, I had to buy a freaking rebuild one. But there's deals out there and you just gotta be smart and look around and then learn and be ready to do the work to get the boats back into shape. And take this for example. So this is like Fernandina Beach area. But look at all those boats. Now those probably aren't the best example of a boat that you can take and completely restore, but they might be. There might, you know, a boat that's sunk doesn't mean it's completely ruined. You can get that back into shape. You just gotta be careful of a few things and, and be smart about what you're getting yourself into. I don't really know exactly how a trust fund works, but it sounds like if you have one, you have a lot of money. Florida, Georgia. Florida, Georgia's way over there. There's no signs that say, welcome to Georgia. There might be. That's Fort Clinch off in the distance. This is the St. Mary's, St. Mary's entrance. We broke down again. Yup, it was another rough day yesterday. It started off fine. We woke up early and we left St. Augustine. On our way up, hoping to make like Amelia Island or somewhere in that area by the end of the day. So we're going up the intercoastal and I keep checking on the transmission that I just put in and the alignment and everything. A few things were going on. Things were getting hot that weren't supposed to be getting hot and we had a little more vibration than we should have so I knew my alignment was off. We found a little anchorage in a really remote part of the intercoastal. so it was like out in a, a park or a natural area that there was nothing for a few miles and I started to work on the alignment. I'll, I'll save you the technical parts of it but I have to adjust the little feet on the engine to get the transmission perfectly aligned with the shaft. So I started to work on it and it's a theoretically very simple thing to do but our engine is so old that when you try and do anything other things break or you have rusted bolts and it just takes so much longer. But long story short it started to take way longer than I thought. There was one wrench that I needed that I did not have and I couldn't get away with using another wrench or another tool to compensate. I had to get that wrench. So we took a boat ride in the whaler went 10 miles down the intercoastal. We anchor there, Sierra stays on the boat, I hop off, and I start walking the shore. And all of a sudden I fall knee deep into this mud. The water's only like a foot deep, but then... Oh, it smells so bad. Uh, whatever. Almost lost my sandals down deep in the mud. I finally get out of the mud. I go up the wall. <laughs> I skateboard another mile to the hardware store. Go to the hardware store. I get the tools I need, I get the wrench, I get some other tools just in case. So we get back to the boat and I start working on the engine again. The wrench worked perfect, exactly what I needed. So I finally get the alignment good, actually everything looked fine, but, and the thing started leaking like crazy. So now we have a fuel line leak. Alignment's done, but now we got another problem. This thing must have been the original fuel line from 1973 when they built this boat. It just started disintegrating my hand. So I f found a few spare parts that we had and I made up another fuel line with the connections. We got everything done we needed to go. 
but by this time it's 7 p.m. It's just starting to get dark, but we had to we had to make a little bit more progress. We only went like two or three hours that day. So we pull up the hook and we start going. We head north. We end up at like 12 midnight or 1 o'clock. We end up at Jacksonville, so we gained some ground at least. We had a full day in. We woke up in Jacksonville this morning. We started going. Same thing, super early, 7 a.m. Nasty weather, but uh, no problems. Knock on wood, engine's running good, uh, alignment seems good. Finally just starting to get sunny out and we're almost in Brunswick, Georgia. So that's our goal for today. We'll stop in Brunswick. Rough day yesterday, good day today. All right, we're, we're still on the Intracoastal here, but we're in St. Andrew Sound now, which is part of the Intracoastal that actually, it's like a big inlet area. So we're getting a lot of ocean swell coming through. It looks like we have to go out towards the inlet for the channel, and then we can turn back north. We might have to batten down the hatches. Nothing flies away. We got a lot of stuff out. Nasty out here, man. <laughs> like, the water looks like chocolate milk and super messy swell and wind chop coming together. Woo! Are breakers right over there. Oh, calming down for us a little here. That was kind of unexpected. Coming back into some calm water now. We have Jekyll Island right here in the background. Are they playing? Can't see the water, it's too brown. Come on, dolphin. Hang out with us. Yeah, they're back here. They didn't want to play again. We've seen so many dolphin coming up the coast, especially here in North Florida. Now we're in Georgia, technically. A ton of dolphin, but they know they don't want to play. Usually, they at least ride your bow wave for a little bit. The ones in the Bahamas want to play. Just as excited to see them. Just took Jenny to go to the restroom real quick on Jekyll Island here behind me. Really pretty island. We were only walking around for like 30 minutes, but we, we saw a guy catching sharks off the dock and sturgeon were jumping and the island seemed really cool too. Thanks Dave at uh, Turtle Tides Paddleboarding for the sticker. I think it's sweet. And the trawler is cool too. Such a pretty area over there. I'm trying to put the camera down and upload a video for you guys, but we keep seeing this beautiful scenery. guys another well start off as a cruddy day on the water rainy and windy but another beautiful sunset now that the sun came out we're in well we're in st simon sound right now brunswick's right over here and st simon island is right behind you guys we got a bunch of birds following us they think we're like a, a shrimping trawler so thanks for coming with us we had knock on wood Another day without incidents. <laughs> first, first day in a while without incidents. Thank you guys for coming with us and just give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Check out all the links in the description and we'll see you guys next time. We gotta think of a good like, some people go like that to close it. We could go like this with these birds. You guys gotta see all these birds following us. We're not throwing anything overboard. Look at all of them. They're just hanging out right behind the boat, waiting for shrimp or something.